human nature. Some aspects of human nature say when things are bad, let's get miserable. Let's complain. Let's whine. But other aspects of human nature say, well, gee, let's take those lemons and make lemonade. Let's look for the bright side of things. The glass is half full. And in Greenwood, like you saw a week or two ago in Christine Lake, the glass is half full. Half full of fun. The Greenwood Winterfest. Take a look. So it's Saturday, I'm in Greenwood for the Winterfest, and I'm talking to Mr. Shelton, you're one of the organizers, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so we're about to have the mayor's... The mayor's super challenge, first time that this has been done, and what it is is the three mayors from the three communities closest to us, Greenwood, our mayor, Dipper Kettle, mm -hmm. Ryan Taylor from Grand Forks, and Midway's mayor, uh, Randy, Randy, Randy. Don't know how to pronounce his last name either. Randy Knapps. Knapps. Okay, yeah, Randy Knapps. Sorry Naps. about that. That's okay. Sorry, Randy. Apologize. <laughs> so, is Nipper going to take a bite out of Brian? And uh, well, Naps, Nipper, Nipper wanted to be called Nipping Nipper. Nipping. So everybody now is say, calling him the Little Chihuahua. How's no. that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Well, I'm hoping, of course, that Brian will smoke the rest of them. But hey, you nice never know. And like I say, right. they're all. It's here and fun. But like I say, you know, deep down inside, everyone wants the bragging rights of to course. turn around and pull this off. Yeah. So this isn't the only thing you have happening. No, here. we have super challenge. We had last night. We had Broombo, and we played over at our little homemade rink here. Oh, that's why I was wondering why it was so kind of muddy looking. Yeah. And, okay. and the thing is, like I say, we had uh, four teams, five teams last night. One kids team, little guys, and then four teams. They played till I'd say probably ten thirty. Okay. They had a torch lighting ceremony. If you go downtown in, in Greenwood, there are sculptures, snow sculptures, like they do in Roslyn and some of the other places in front of the businesses. Oh, we all have to take a look at those. Take a look. Go down. The best one, like, I shouldn't say this, but the one to see is the one at Deadwood Junction. Okay. The mermaid and the fish and stuff like that. Just fantastic. And they do this every year. Wow, well, we'll have to see those before they start to okay. run away. Yeah. Right. And then, so what happens this afternoon? We'll do the challenge here. And then we have what we call the male and female super challenge. And we have four, we call it, off-the-wall challenges for males and females. So what they do, they have the male or the female that wear two big inner tubes. They have handles on the inside, so they have no hands. And behind me, there's three moguls. First one's eight feet high, the next one's six, the last one should be eight feet high too. But the idea is it's all timed, and you turn around and get your best time to turn around and score points. And at the end of this thing, everybody that gets the most points, or the person that gets the most points, we have prizes, the closing ceremony on Sunday night. And we have jackets and sweaters. And, uh, well, there you go. It's not just I today, it's Sunday as well. That's right. Thank you very there much. There are dinners. I'd like to, like to also plug the dinners because it's for our kids. Mm -hmm. The dinners go for, uh, it's our school kids, six and seven. Right. All the money that's made goes to the kids' field trip or the school lunch program. Okay. And the main thing that we're very proud of my organizers and myself is the fact there is no fee for anything at Winterfest. Everything is given back to the community. Winterfest makes no money. That's great. It's community spirit and it's community, community effort. That's and that was great. the whole thing. Ten years ago, we came in with this thing, and the main theme was bring families together for an old-fashioned weekend of fun. Okay. Mom, dad, grandpa, grandpa, uncle, aunt, and the kids. And I see they're, they're getting ready to watch the marriage. They're coming there. Thank cool. you very much. Okay, thank you. Well, there you go. Mr. Sheldon was nice to tell us what's going on. We're going to take a look at the uh, sculptures downtown. But first, we're going to see how it works with the mayors. I think they should be pulling their councils. But, hey, what can I say?
Congratulations, Dad. Dad. Reach in. Reach in. Reach in. Grab the cup. Grab the cup, guys. Grab the cup. Grab the cup. Grab the cup. Grab the cup. Yes. All right. We're going to challenge for next year. Some, some words for the folks at home. Well, I, I'd just like to thank my trainers and uh, all the people who helped me out in pulling the race. Uh, we're going to be here next year and take it again. So next year, you're going to be have, like you pulling the council. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's the kind of thing where you know you're showing off the biggest and the best in your community. So I'm not sure that will include the council. <laughs> well, like they say, when the world throws lemons at you, make lemonade. When it dumps snow on you. Do something with it. Sculpt it. Winterfest in Greenwood has been a fun time. And hey, our mayor won, so that's a good thing too. I do think that they had the nicest, even though we got to see it after it got soft. I think they had a good time, and hey, good on you, Greenwood, for having a, a really good Winterfest. For GFTV and Boundary Sentinel, I'm Wes. Why don't you enjoy it? It's okay, you can't see you anyway. <laughs> Bye.